on you guys my name is rage and we're back today with another red star or opening video for you all in today's video as you can see sharon carter is now officially in the game and with her she's actually going to be able to provide a lot of value as part of the new secret avengers team that really is going to add amazing amazing utility in raids you know for her uh especially if captain america is her ally you can see that she's going to actually be able to reduce enemy speed bars she's going to have the opportunity to apply ability block defense down as well as boosting her fellow secret avenger damage in the raids as well as applying disruption and you know just being part of that new meta coming on board here with the saboteur trait it's gonna be very interesting to see how this shakes down but uh with every event like this you know we always love to take advantage of the extra increase in the 15 percent uh relating to the red star orb so you bet we're gonna take full advantage of that as well as take a quick overview of her kit and t4 recommendations that being said here, I do have 29 orbs and, you know, uh, per my previous videos, we always want to aim for at least a two or three red. I uh, just really want to maximize that percentage. So got 29. Let's throw in a couple here and see how it goes. But always double check, you guys, you know, with these updates, you can never be too sure when it's actually in effect. So hit the little I for additional information. And what you could do is you can hit any of these additional details, scroll to the bottom and just make sure that you see Sharon here as the increase in uh, percentage here. So you can see there's an extra boost of 10% resulting in the 15% total. So everything looks good to me. Uh, let's go ahead and open a couple orbs, you guys. So starting off, we get a blue here. A three red for Star-Lord. Not too bad. Uh, unfortunately, it is a duplicate, but adds to our elite credits. And already off the get-go, we do have a, three, a two red. But you know what? I'm liking the luck here. So let's just open a few more because ideally, it would be nice if we can end up with a three. If not, uh, at least we were able to walk away with the two, and that's quite all right. Four stature. Unfortunately, it is a duplicate once again. More duplicate credits there. Well, hopefully you guys are having a little bit better luck than me. But yeah, you know, as you progress in this game, we're always going to be getting more and more duplicates as you just click, gather up and collect more. Right. So let's open one more to just make this a round clean number here for the uh, the rest of our orbs. But wasn't able to get the three red. That's quite okay. Uh, I'm, I'm likely going to try a couple more times later on. But, you know, I'm okay with this right now. And I want to see how, how this is stockpiled. Because especially with, with another Captain America coming. And as well as Maria Hill. It's going to be very exciting times. Just to make sure we always have a ready art arsenal. But two reds quite alright as well. Still fits our goal. So let's go ahead now. Uh, with these new characters, they are very always uh, shown in the bottom as you can see here. And what we can do now is we can actually take a look in more detail to Sharon Carter's kit. So Baton Strike is her basic. Essentially, she attacks the primary target for damage, applying a slow. And you can see here really where she gets the benefits that enduring raids, if the new Captain America Sam is her ally, she actually does also reduce the speed bar of that primary target. So we're going to actually be kind of seeing this attack very similar to Ghost's attack, where it actually does take away that speed and turn meter. As we level this up, you can see here, even with the level six, she's actually going to be able to apply a slow for a detrimental three turns. I really like what that brings in because that's a really significant portion of slow, especially when you don't have to keep applying it to the same primary target. So 100%, uh, I would level this up to level six right away. But as for the T4, I would hold off on this for now just because uh, we're not sure of the full utility in terms of the synergy and how much damage she will be doing with that full team uh, roster. Next, for special ability, close quarters combat. Essentially, she attacks the primary target for 180% damage. And then as well, it also does damage to the adjacent targets. As we level this up, you can see here that ability block actually does apply to the primary. As well as defense down being leveled up. And then when we go ahead and actually push it all the way to level 6, the defense down is actually going to last for 2 turns. As well as the, to the secondary targets as well. So anybody adjacent is going to have that defense down as well as the primary. And with the ability block, by T4ing this... The ability block actually lasts for two turns instead of one. So this is a very nice ability because essentially I always see ability blocks as almost kind of like a pseudo stun. Sure, it doesn't stop them from attacking, but with them not being able to activate their abilities, that provides amazing, amazing value in the battle. So 100%, I would actually consider T4ing this off the get-go just due to the fact that that's going to add some really great crowd control in terms of the overall kit and as well as being able to support her fellow Secret Avengers. With the No Mercy Ultimate here, she's going to clear two positive effects from the primary target in addition for some damage. You can see that it actually does actually chain up to two uh, adjacent targets for this first level. And as well, also strips away their benefits. And you can see that increased focus for this specific attack for the primary. 
As we level this up, the plot, there is actually going to be an additional slow for both the primary and secondary targets. Uh, when we push it to the level 6, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, it is actually a stun on the primary target. And don't forget, she actually strips away all the positives as well. So um, by t 4 this, all the positive benefits are going to be fully stripped. So this is another ability where we got to see fully utilize how, how much damage he's actually going to be taking in the battle. Because if that's the case, um, this is a really good skill to really shut down a character and strip away all the positive buffs. On top of that, apply not only just a stun, but as well as a slow as, as well to the secondary target. So I mean, that's going to be some really good value there. Uh, this ultimate looks like it is actually worthy of uh, T4ing right off the get go with the special. But in my opinion, the special is more important uh, just due to the fact to have that ability block like, that can really set the tone for battle. Ends and means is her passive, and this is where really where it kind of shines a lot for many characters. While this character has deflect, she's gonna gain additional focus, and as well for her on herself, the secret avenger or skill ally turn, she's gonna have a 50% chance to apply offense up in raids. This always occurs, so that's where we're gonna see a lot of uh, uh, usage, uh, especially for this team, and especially if this is always gonna be prompt in in, uh, in raids. In raids, additionally, when the enemy drops below 50% health, she's also gonna apply disruption. And as well, only in raids, she gains extra 20% increase in damage to not only herself, but as well as the rest of her allies. And as we level this up, they're going to gain def they're going to gain deflect with this 20% focus. Uh, they're going to gain additional damage. And as well, if you were to T4 this, there's an extra 80% focus with deflect. So um, I don't know if I would actually T4 this right away because I kind of want to see how this is going to work in the overall team synergy. Very confident in pushing this all the way to level four uh, just because it does provide amazing value. But really, the, the two media abilities I personally would um, T4 would be the special and the ultimate. And then just to see how this team actually synergizes together. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Um, always great to see a new meta, a new team coming in. Especially it looks like with it being a new skill raid team to actually for us to be able to utilize. So thank you as always guys. Do appreciate you checking out my videos. And I'll see you in the next one.